braids so when I face forward it looks really bad but it's cuz okay my favorite way to do my hair when I'm working out is to go like this and braid it and then that way when you put it like up in a bun and then you put another hair tie around it it like stays and it doesn't like come out like if you were like cycling and you just put your hair up in a normal bun at least for me it normally like comes out so that's why I do it this way but when you don't see the braid it looks a little funky anyways it's Saturday afternoon it's like 10 15 I'm going to soul cycle so it's Taylor Swift week for soul cycle and uh, sorry I was made eye contact with the uh, the post woman uh, male lady mailman don't know why I said that so weird and this one is my favorite because this is Taylor Swift evermore versus red which I think is like the best combo like I'm so excited for red to be the next album I'm actually shocked because okay she did fearless first which I feel like was a good one to do first fearless is really good but it's definitely not like my favorite but for some reason I didn't think she would do red right away because in my opinion the re-recording of red is probably going to be the best one you know what I mean so I didn't I feel like if she did red first then like oh when later when she does the Taylor Swift original album people will care less but I guess maybe by the fifth like re-release people will start to care less anyways so maybe she's like well I have everyone excited let me get them super super excited I mean I'm sure she's obviously thought it through Taylor Swift is a lot smarter than I am so anyways I'm really excited though for Better Man because I love that song and hearing Taylor sing it will be so good because she wrote it for Little Big Town. Big Little Town. I always say it wrong. Little Big Town. Little Big Town. Big Little Town. Little Big Town, I think. Anyways, I've tried a couple flavors of Celsius. I tried like Kiwi Guava. That one's okay. It's not amazing, but it's good. I don't like the orange. I might have tried another one. I don't know. But... I've never seen the peach one in store this like peach vibe one that everyone I feel like loves also with the Lonnie new I've never seen the breeze berry which I think is like blueberry and I'd never seen it in person but I always thought oh my god I bet I'll like that one because I am obsessed with the blueberry truly that's like my favorite truly and I mean I know obviously it's different but it's like a blueberry sparkling water okay so I'm trying this peach celsius Oh, that's really good. Yeah, that's my favorite by far. Wow, that's really good. Okay, Soul Cycle's done. It was so good. He played a mashup of Champagne Problems and All Too Well. And I think I want to listen to that on the drive home. That was literally so good. I just picked up lunch at Fresh Kitchen. Fresh Kitchen is literally so freaking good. It's kind of like Chipotle or like Subway. Like, I don't know what you call those. Whenever I'm describing a place like that, I'm always like, it's like Chipotle or Subway. Um, cause it's like fast food, but like you create your own type of thing. Anyways, you get, uh, I got the kind where you get two bases, a protein and a vegetable. I got cauliflower mash, sweet potato noodles, barbecue chicken that looks so freaking good, and broccoli. I just made a TikTok about this. The call or the sweet potato noodles, they're like chilled. Which I don't know how I feel about that. Which I guess pasta salad is chilled, but I also don't eat pasta salad. So that's where I stand on that in case you're wondering I'm gonna go home shower I have to do some paperwork for my new job there's like a bunch of things to fill out that are due today so I'm gonna do that so I did everything I had to do for work it was just like some forms or something it looked like a really long list like when I opened it it was like 10 things but it was like you know just like basic things like oh one of them was like dark deposit which literally took like three minutes and then one was like read over you know like the policy for like electronics and you know what i mean stuff like that so it didn't take too long but now i'm actually going to get ready because okay so i'm on bumble bff because i just moved to tampa obviously and i don't really know anyone here and 
there was this one girl who messaged me and was like hey on saturday like i think a group of us are getting together and she invited me and then i don't have my notifications on from Bu for bumble and i think a lot of other people don't either because sometimes people will be like oh i just saw this or things like that so she ended up telling me today she's like oh my gosh so sorry i like forgot to tell you but at six we're going to this restaurant and so the restaurant's actually kind of far from me it's like 40 minutes away it's in i never know how to say it it's like by clearwater it's like dundon or i really don't know how to say it i always in my head say dundon but i don't know if that's right but it's like i think a little bit north of clearwater so it's like 40 minutes from me which is pretty far but i'm probably gonna end up living in saint pete i think which actually is like closer it would maybe be like 30 minutes 20 minutes from there i don't really know um but anyways yeah so i'm just gonna go i barely have talked to this girl and i don't have no idea who else is going but like that's the thing with like things like this it's like you just have to go you know what i mean like if you want to make friends like it might be like oh crap like i'm supposed to leave it takes like 40 minutes it's already 4 45 and it's at six so i basically have like 30 minutes to get ready my hair is wet i have to drive 45 minutes for somewhere that i'm probably going to be for like an hour maybe hour and a half they said they're getting drinks but i obviously i mean i'll have one drink but i'm not gonna have more than one because i'm driving and so you know whatever it's like it's not like the most like ideal situation um i'd rather go somewhere closer to me obviously like somewhere in like downtown tampa but if you're getting invited like you have to go you know what i mean like if you want to make friends like you're not like oh well maybe like let me know next time like and i'll see if it's closer it's like you just have to go so that's what i'm doing wanting to leave okay i'm gonna like barely straighten my hair so it doesn't look stick straight but that it looks a little better than this i mean i can be like a couple minutes late but i don't want to be more than like 10 ish like 5 to 10 but I'd rather be there on time, so. Okay, I need to stop doing it so much. I'm gonna do like, run through it twice. Go like one, two, I'll go through three. One, two, three, and then switch. Also, it's not just me and her. If it was just me and her, I wouldn't be like, oh, I can be 10 minutes late. There's like a group of them. But when she says group, is that like, Okay, if it was, I wouldn't say a group of us if it was less than three people. Otherwise, I'd be like, oh, me and one other girl. So I feel like there's got to be at least three of them. So, we'll see. Once again, I don't know. Ugh. Okay. I really need to leave in like 10 minutes. Luckily, all I have left to do is mascara. Okay. 
Okay, my place is kind of a mess because I was unpacking some more stuff out of my trunk into my Airbnb, but I'll show you my outfit really quick. So I'm just wearing this dress. It's from American Eagle. It's just really flowy and easy to wear. It's super comfortable. And then I'm carrying this purse, which is from Nasty Gal. And it has a long strap, but I feel like the cute little purses are our thing and i never really wear them so i was like okay since it's not when i'm like going out like because when i've only worn this purse a couple times and when i wore it to like go out to the bars i used a long strap because i'm not used to having like a shoulder bag and so i'm like it's just easier for me to have a long bag i know i won't set it down somewhere and forget but this i'm just like going to i think it's like a restaurant slash bar situation but I mean, I'm driving, so I'm not going to be getting drunk or anything, so I can easily bring this. Oh. Oh, they just did a group chat. There's five of us. Okay, so I guess there's a group of us. <laughs> I just got added to a group chat, okay? Making moves. <laughs> okay, I gotta go, for real. It's like first thing in the morning. Well, okay, it's 11:15. It's not even that early, but when you get out of bed, then the first thing you do is a ginger shot. I only did half of it. I need to finish it. Just wakes you up. I'm listening to the new Billie Eilish. I know, like the one that's like all over tiktok like you made me hate this city wow i'm such a good singer i'm taking my little collagen pills oh what should i tell you is this is this lighting bad i can't tell uh should i tell you about last night the so i told you i was going to that bumble bff little hangout thing and then i came home i like what did i even watch on tv i don't even remember what did i watch oh i watched the hills like whitney port just like reaction videos to the hills i watched that anyways so i hung out with those girls from bumble bff there was four girls and plus me so there's five and it was really fun yeah we like went to this place it was kind of like a restaurant bar type situation we got a drink and some food and then we went to another bar that was actually really cool it was in um dunedin which i like didn't know how to say that it's like a little bit north of clearwater i was saying dunedin but it's dunedin but yeah i didn't have a drink at the second place because i was driving and so yeah i i didn't but i still just like went and like hung out and like had a water and stuff and it was super cool the girls were super nice and i definitely think that we'll all hang out again like it was a really fun um fun time yeah yeah basically i'm really glad that i went and that's the thing i feel like I don't know i don't want to say because it's kind of hard it's depending like where you live also your personality like i feel like um i can be pretty outgoing in situations like that or like i'll like make the effort like i know some people would probably be like oh that's so awkward like i don't want to do that or something like that you know because it is like a weird situation like you know showing like i showed up and there's these four girls sitting at the table i have not like met any of them I'm like hi like it is like kind of a weird situation but like those are people just trying to make friends too and it's like you know you hang out and then if you get along you keep hanging out and then now you're friends like i feel like it's so normalized now like i think online dating super normal like if someone says they met their uh boyfriend on bumble like their boyfriend or girlfriend like it's super normal it's not weird so yeah it's kind of the same thing i do feel like it would be harder for boys like i feel like with girls it's like oh you look at my instagram or you're like oh like she looks fun or whatever and like then when you hang out it's like super normal i feel like for guys it would be a lot harder but and also it's like not everywhere has bumble bff like tampa is a pretty big city um i mean compared to like you know 
like where my parents live like in Bremerton like there's not I mean I'm sure there are still people on Bumble BFF there actually I bet there is a lot because it's a navy town so I bet there's like a bunch of navy people that like are trying to make friends and stuff anyways that's not the point basically I had a good time um I'll probably hang out with them again hopefully even if you've lived in a place for a while like one of the girls last night has lived here for two years and she you know just like wanted to meet some more people and it's like it's super normal like it's not like you can only do it when you're brand new to a city like another person grew up here and then now she like has friends but she's just like trying to meet, meet some new people like everyone like wants to make more friends you know what I mean so I would definitely recommend it but I I'm gonna go to Soul Cycle. sorry I got distracted by the time because it's 11 30 but my class is at 12 15 but I like to leave early Ugh. okay let's go to Soul Cycle. Okay, so I'm headed to Soul Cycle, and I think I mentioned yesterday how this is like Taylor Swift week. So the class today is Olivia Rodrigo versus Taylor Swift, which is going to be very fun. I actually went to a Olivia Rodrigo Taylor Swift class in Austin like two months ago, and yeah, so I've already been to this theme, but I mean, I love Olivia Rodrigo. I love Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift, there's like a ton of things to pick from. So like, I have no idea what songs would be from that. From like Olivia Rodrigo, you know, I'm sure we're obviously do like Good For You, like Brutal. Those are good like spin songs. And then for a slower song, maybe like Driver's License or Enough For You. Ooh, I hope he does Enough For You or Favorite Crime. Anyways, so yesterday i tried the peach celsius for the first time and so when i was at target they had like a bunch of the energy drinks so i've had the alani new oh i forget what it's called cosmic stardust i think is the one that i like but they had the blueberry one and then they have this is called electric tie-dye it's cherry limeade and i've never had this before so let's see I have a feeling it won't be as good as the peach celsius yesterday but let's see oh it's good it's very sweet but so is the cosmic stardust like i think the first time i tried the cosmic stardust i didn't like it or at least i was like whoa but now i like it this is good but it's strong. Like, a lot of people wouldn't like this. Yeah, I mean, the more I drink it, I like it, but it's definitely strong. So, if you're someone that, like, doesn't like soda or doesn't, you know, like, super sweet things, you probably wouldn't like it. Okay. Oh, I was gonna say, I'll listen to Olivia Rodrigo on the way to hype myself up. But it's like, she only has so many songs to pick from, so do I want to listen to them now? I don't know. Sometimes I take these things a little too seriously. It really doesn't matter. <laughs> oh my gosh, it is hot, hot, hot. Let's see what the temp is. Jeez. It says it's only 90. Oh, but it says feels like 100. Okay, I saw someone on TikTok. They were like, why do they say like oh it's 90 but it feels like 100 if it feels like 100 it's 100 you know what i mean like that's what someone was saying and i was like honestly because it feels way hotter than 90 right now it just feels so you turn the air up we're gonna go to trader joe's it's probably gonna be really crowded because it's a sunday afternoon which is like i feel like when everyone wants to grocery shop including me Okay, I was feeling like a little cheese board situation, which it's literally just me, but this last, I looked at the expiration date, it was like until the end of the month, so I was like, okay, that's fine. So this is my favorite wine, Starborough, and then I got these pita crackers, and these are my favorite, these savory thin crackers, but they're a pretty strong taste, like it sometimes can overpower the cheese, so that's why I got both. This I've had before, caramelized onion cheddar cheese it's so good and i got a little one this was only four dollars so i tried to pick out a small one and then this one's bigger but i've never had this but it is let's see let's focus green goddess gouda so it's gouda cheese with zesty parley parley <laughs> 
parsley, basil, and garlic. Gosh, what am I saying? I'm like reading through the camera lens, so it's kind of weird, but yeah, we'll see how that is. And then I also just got this little pack of different kinds of meats because this was like five bucks, and I was like, wow, that's perfect. I'm probably gonna have this for dinner tonight and then also just like throughout the week, whenever.